We've got the new Yaesu Mobiles. Welcome back to the DX Engineering Channel. I'm Michael, KI8R. Today, I'm really excited to give you a first look at the three new Yaesu Mobiles that have just arrived at DXE. So let's dive right in with the new Yaesu FTM 150 RASP. The 150 RASP is similar to the FTM 500 DR, except that it's only analog. It has a heavy duty heat sink with a fan that pulls air through the radio to cool it. The radio features a total of six watts of audio divided between the speakers in the head and the body of the radio. These speakers can be used together or separately. There's also a speaker jack that allows you to use an external speaker. This rig features 1103 memory channels, is dual band, and allows for the radio to listen to two VHF frequencies at the same time, two UHF or a VHF and a UHF frequency. If you're into satellites, this rig will do full duplex between VHF and UHF. The microphone will also allow you to enter the frequency, and there are two mic jacks on this rig, one on the head and one in the body of the radio. It also has a primary memory group which allows you to create a group of five memories that the radio can scan. A custom function list that allows you to select up to nine of the most used menu items, memory auto grouping, a data port, and audio signal processing, which we will get into later. The rig weighs in at 2.65 pounds, is five and a half inches wide, 1.7 inches high, and 5.4 inches deep. It puts out 55 watts on VHF, and 50 watts on UHF on high power, 25 on medium, and 5 watts on low power. The radio pulls 11 amps on 2 meters high power and 10 amps on 440 high power. Transmit ranges from 144 to 148 and 430 to 450. It'll receive four different banks covering 108 to 137, which includes the airband, 137 to 174, 174 to 400, which includes military airband, and 400 to 550 megahertz. It also has pre-programmed NOAA weather frequencies, which can be configured for, to listen for NOAA weather alerts. There's also several options, including the BU-5 Bluetooth module. Now note, Bluetooth on this radio is only for audio and cannot be used for programming or rig control. There's also an optional voice guide module and a swing head kit that allows for the control head to be a fit pivot while it's still mounted to the body of the radio. Note that this radio does not do a PRS, but it does come with a three-year warranty. One other feature this radio has that the 3165 and 3185 do not is the ability to change the color of the display. There have been rumors floating around the internet that this radio will not do crossband repeat. However, I was able to confirm that it does. With the radio turned off, hold the PMG button and the F button, and then tap the power button. This puts the radio into crossband repeat. To take it out of this mode, power the radio off and do the same thing again. Holding these buttons down toggles the feature on and off. Next up is the Yaesu FT3185 RASP. This rig is similar to the older FT2980. The FT3185 has a huge heat sink, which means it does not require a fan, and it's built like a tank. The radio has 221 alphanumeric memories and has audio signal processing. Also, like the 150, this rig comes with a new microphone, which allows for direct frequency entry. The mic plugs into the bottom of the front panel. And unlike the 150, the speaker is located on the bottom of the rig. It also has other features, including RF squelch and primary memory group, as well as a customs favorite list allowing for direct access to nine common menu items. It does not have a data port. This rig weighs in at a hefty 4.2 pounds and is 6.3 inches wide, 2 inches tall, and 7.3 inches deep. It also has four power levels of 85, 50, 20, and 5 watts, and requires 15 amps on transmit. Transmit range is from 144 to 148, while the receive range is from 136 to 174. Note that there is no airband reception on this rig, but the NOAA weather frequencies are pre-programmed 
and can be configured for weather alerts. This radio also comes with a three-year warranty. And last but certainly not least is the new Yaesu FT3165 RASP. This rig is similar to the older FT3100. And like the 3100, this rig has a front-facing speaker. And like the FTM150, it has the funnel air convection cooling. It has 220 memories, 5 watts of audio, and audio signal processing. Like its siblings, it also includes a new microphone with the frequency entry on the mic. This rig weighs in at 2.87 pounds, is 6.07 inches wide, 1.7 inches high, and 6.1 inches deep. It has three power levels of 65, 30, and 5 watts, and requires 11 amps on transmit on high power. Transmit range is from 144 to 148, while receive range is from 136 to 174 so this radio does not receive the airband. And just like the other two rigs, it has the NOAA weather frequencies pre-programmed and can be configured to listen for weather alerts. And finally, it comes with a three-year warranty. Each of these radios includes a manual, mounting bracket, mic holder, and associated hardware. So let's take a look at what the SDX button does on these rigs. The SDX, or Super DX function, increases the receiver's sensitivity as well as enhances the audio by using an audio signal processor, so even really weak signals can be heard. Okay, I thought I heard something. Maybe like a quick slurp on the, on the news or maybe on the internet. So that's why I was asking. Uh, I, I think I've heard it maybe once, but I've never, I never talked to anybody on this. The new microphone includes four programmable function keys, a mute key, up and down buttons, and the ability to change frequencies on the fly just by keying in the frequency that you want to use. So, who are these radios for? Well, if you're someone who is looking for either a dual band or two meter rig and doesn't care about Yesu System Fusion, then one of these rigs may be what you're looking for. All three of these rigs are ruggedly built, and no matter which one you choose, when you pick it up, you'll know that these are quality built radios. I'll put links down in the description for each of these rigs. Thanks for watching today. I'm Michael, KI8R, and I'll catch you on the next one.